Hi, I'm so happy that Debbie asked me to share a tip with you. Um, I'm Sandy LaFleur. I live in Southern California, not far from Debbie herself. But anyway, um, I thought about it and I get asked a lot about how I dry brush. And so I thought I would just give you a quick little um, look at how I dry brush. Um, first of all, what I like to use is a Lang Nickel Royal Sable short round brush. When you buy them initially they have this nice little point on them but after you use them for a while they start flattening out and um, that makes really good dry brush. Here's one that's pretty flat and I use this quite often to dry brush with. So I have some uh, cute little pumpkins here that I'm going, uh, or one anyway, there's two more on the other side of this project. But I'm going to show you how I like to dry brush. And we are going to be dry brushing the flutes on this pumpkin with Moon Yellow. So the first thing I like to do is put out a little bit of Moon Yellow on my palette. And I take my short round sable and I'll pick up some paint. And then I go to my palette and I kind of scrub it around in a circle. Change directions a time or two. And what I'm doing is I'm working that paint into the brush a little bit. The next thing I do is I go to this towel that I keep in the background here to work on. As you can see, it gets used a lot. And I'm going to scrub some of the paint off. It's a dry brush, so you didn't put any water in it, right? The next thing I do, and as you can see, I've been doing this already a lot today, is go to this part of my hand, and I hit it with the brush. And I kind of scrub it around a little bit. Now, it's not going to hurt you. It's non-toxic. But here's a disclaimer. If you have sensitive skin, you probably don't want to be scrubbing paint into it. But I've been doing this for years and years and years and haven't had a problem. So when I hit initially, it's pretty cold. And as I scrub, I can feel the coolness leave. It feels not, not warm, but it's just not cold anymore. And once you get to that point, that's a pretty good indicator that you've taken enough paint out of your brush that you can go to your piece and start dry brushing. So, here we go. I'm going to start scrubbing some Moon Yellow dry brushing onto my flutes of my pumpkin. Now in this video it's going to look pretty bright. It's not quite that bright on the actual piece itself. But as you can see, I have to scrub pretty hard to get the paint off. And another thing I like to do is I like to follow the shape of the object that I'm dry brushing on. So as you see, I, I, got, I was thin up here and I got wider down at the bottom where the pumpkin got wider. And there we go. So that is how I dry brush. And I will walk around with different colors of paint, whatever's on my palette, whatever I'm dry brushing at the time, and it'll be across the back of my hand, and it's always uh, an interesting thing to talk about if you forget to wash it off. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps you with your dry brushing.